Well, good morning. We've got the sun starting to come up. The air is fresh and just a little crisp. It is a good morning for a run. I am out in the, show you, Puma Voyage Nitro 2. And this is my full performance review. I'd appreciate if you would consider subscribing to the channel and uh, give me a follow on Instagram as well. I'm gonna continue on this trail for a few more miles. So in the meantime, a voiceover Chad, why don't you tell us about the specs of the Puma Voyage Nitro 2? Thanks, Chad. Quick disclaimer, Puma did send me these shoes for the purpose of review. However, all thoughts and opinions are strictly my own. From Puma's website, tackle any terrain in the sturdy confidence of the Voyage Nitro 2. We've retooled the shoe with a tough new upper to accommodate a wide range of foot shapes. Our new Puma Grip ATR rubber outsole provides even better traction on ice, mud, whatever the surface, while the lightweight nitrogen injected foam delivers max cushioning and responsiveness. As for some of the specs of the shoe, you're getting Puma's OptiFit Mono Mesh Upper, Pro Foam Light and Nitro Midsole, Puma Grip ATR Rubber Outsole, 4 foot drainage ports, removable insole, 34.5 millimeter heel, 26.5 millimeter forefoot for a 8 millimeter drop, 307 grams or 10.8 ounces in a men's size and US MSRP of $130. So I've had this shoe out for a few runs, including a 13 mile run and another 20 mile run. Today, I'm doing another 20 miles and I used this shoe on a variety of terrain. Started out on the gravel trail and now I'm on the uh, single track, kind of rocky, rolling hill single track trail and then i'll be connecting into a road section which will eventually connect into a, a gravel road section which will connect back into another road section to the car so quite the variety of terrain that i'm running in this shoe and we're gonna answer one question today this is a great shoe but is it any good for trail running? Let's answer that question on today's full performance review. I'm thinking it's about time to put the headlamp up. All right, so let's talk about the build quality, comfort, performance, and lastly, the value. All right, so build quality. You know, overall, the build is actually really, really good in this shoe. Puma did a great job just putting it all together. From my experience so far, nothing's falling apart or showing premature signs of wear. There is one spot I will show you. Right here on the uh, inside of the shoe shows a little bit of wear. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I think that's where my left foot kind of scraped along the side of the shoe just a tiny bit. The outsole is holding up really well. In fact, hardly showing signs of wear at all. And let me remind you, I haven't taken this shoe only on trails. I've also ran quite a bit on the road with it. Midsole is holding up great. The upper is also holding up quite nicely. And Puma did a good job too at adding reinforcement and overlays where it's needed. I also think they chose really good materials that are gonna last a long time, but also be comfortable. So not really much to say about build quality other than I'm very impressed and think they did a great job overall. I do feel that they could probably add a couple more uh, either overlays or underlays. That's like the reinforcements inside of the uh, mesh upper. I feel like that would not only make it more durable, but also add 
a little bit to the comfort. More on that in just a moment. Overall score for the build quality, I'm saying an eight out of 10. That's pretty good. On to the comfort. So overall, I'm really impressed with the uh, comfort of the shoe. Upper materials are really nice, especially around the ankle and the heel. Puma used some really soft, almost suede-like uh, material. Some really good cushioning, feels really nice. Helps hold your foot in place around the ankle and heel. And then they used some medium density foam on the uh, tongue, not overly uh, plush. The tongue feels really good. The laces are soft. They feel great. I also like that the tongue is, uh, it's kind of gusseted. I'll show you. It's sewn in place right along the uh, bottom of the eyelet chain. So it's kind of held gusseted, if you will, in place. Uh, so it's not gonna move around on you, but you know, it works. It works just fine in this shoe. There's been absolutely no hot spots or pinching or blisters whatsoever so that's saying a lot there's no interference or rubbing on my achilles heel which is nice and then the last thing i want to mention about comfort is the overall volume in the shoe uh there's more volume in this shoe than maybe your average trail running shoe for at least my foot and average to narrow foot i find that i have a little more room than maybe what I need, but if you need just a little more volume, this could be a good shoe for you. So overall comfort, I'm gonna give also an eight, might even bump it up to eight and a half out of 10. Good job, Puma. Ooh, that's icy. Gotta be careful. By the way, all the footage, the B-roll rather that you're seeing is after this run. So this is what the actual shoe looks like after 50 plus miles. There's the sun and here's the road. A bit of a climb. All right, let's talk about the performance of the shoe now. All right, so I really hope that I can articulate all my thoughts around the performance of the shoe well. Let's start with the outsole and the midsole. So let me show you. You can see that the uh, midsole kind of flares out on both sides of the shoe a little bit. Um, so it flares out, giving you a nice stable uh, platform. It flares out on the front and the back of the shoe. Um, along the back, it actually extends, kind of like a hoka, extends past the heel, um, which is actually pretty nice when going downhill. It helps cushion uh, that foot strike and then of course that really wide uh, midsole and outsole platform really helps provide a good stable landing the midsole offers pretty good uh, protection and cushioning for your foot but I'm really wondering where the nitro foam is where's that super critical bouncy foam I don't know the uh, midsole really feels more like a traditional foam um, that's not bad in some cases, uh, especially when you just need something to be a little soft, kind of cushion each foot strike. But I was hoping for something a little more like the Velocity 2, where you had kind of a mix between your traditional foam and that super critical nitro bouncy foam that was more inspiring. The outsole is super grippy, really like the outsole. Uh, I don't remember what the lug depth is. I want to say four to five millimeter, which does a great job. And it's also uh, textured. So it just does a really good job at gripping into the dirt and provides a lot of uh, confidence. 
never felt like the outsole is ever going to be an issue and it's also uh, a thick enough rubber that it adds to that protection underfoot and i feel like it's going to last a really long time now on that note with the outsole and the midsole the shoe feels kind of clunky just somewhat uninspiring and in fact it almost gets worse the faster you run in the shoe is this a good trail shoe <sighs> okay this shoe is a great shoe don't get me wrong there's a lot to like about it but it's not really a good trail running shoe that said i would say this is a great hiking shoe outdoor adventure shoe again there's a lot to like about the shoe it's just a, a not a very inspiring trail running shoe and it's because of that midsole outsole just something having to do with the way it's all it all comes together it's just kind of clunky kind of flat underfoot um now yeah i'm running 20 miles in the shoe today getting it done but i definitely feel the shoe underfoot and i prefer a shoe that's a little more nimble a little more inspiring a little more adaptive and i just don't feel like i get that with this shoe the performance of the upper is really nice super comfortable this wind reminds me that the upper of this shoe is quite breathable so i really like the performance of the upper as far as material quality how it holds your foot is overall very comfortable feels good they did a great job on the upper really no complaints at all on the upper i really like the uh overlays along the uh the toe box um you get a little plastic flare which is said on the back there which is said to help prevent uh dirt and debris from getting in the shoe um it does an okay job there's some nice reinforcement around the heel you can also see the brown part of the uh, foam at least brown on this shoe here your foot actually sits down kind of in that so your foot sitting down inside of the uh, midsole a little bit which actually offers a really good um, hold around your foot which is appreciated because there is a little bit more as mentioned earlier a little bit more volume in the shoe so if you need more volume this is a good option again coming back to that question is it a good trail running shoe uh, not, I, I don't know it does okay it's fine for those slow easy miles but honestly there's a lot of other trail shoes that i'd probably uh, not probably that i would pick up before seeking out this shoe it has a hiker an outdoor adventure shoe even just walking around yeah this shoe's gonna do great and that's how i'm gonna use this shoe going forward so performance as a trail running shoe i'm giving it a six out of ten as a hiking shoe i would bump that score up to an eight out of ten So what about the value of the shoe? At $130 US MSRP, that's not a bad price. And you're getting actually quite a bit of a shoe, really good build, phenomenal outsole for decent value. So let me put it this way. You're gonna buy this shoe as a dedicated and your sole trail running shoe. I wouldn't say it's a good value. I would put the value like a six out of 10. If you're buying it for hiking, outdoor adventures, even backpacking, yeah, it's a pretty good value. I think you're getting a, a good shoe, well-built, that's gonna last a long time and be comfortable. And for $130, that's not bad. So for that purpose, value is probably closer to an eight out of 10. So let me know what questions you have about this shoe. Is there something I missed? Something I failed to mention? Or you just have a question that I can answer? Let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to reply. I have a lot planned for the channel, some more shoe reviews. Uh, there's a chance I'll be getting 
the Puma Fast Track trail running shoe, which is said to be a very good trail shoe. So I'm actually really looking forward to that. I also have the Puma, just received it yesterday, the Puma Forever Run Nitro shoe. Really cool, bouncy, should be a fun, fun stability related, but also very good for neutral runners. Should be a great shoe. And I should also be getting the Skechers Ride 11 coming out in late spring. So subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for all of that, as well as some good trail running and other adventure runs. Should be a good time. All right, we'll leave this video off as we always do. Remember to be consistent, express gratitude, and enjoy every mile. Let's go finish this run out, get to the car, wrap this run up. Okay, I will see you on the next run. Thank you so much again for being here. Bye now. There we have it, 18 miles, done for the day. See ya.